Years since the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, which led to the U.S. entering World War II. In the days following the attack on December 7, 1941, weather data across the nation was stopped. Meteorologist Aaron Walker tells us why. A date which will live in infamy. President Franklin D. Roosevelt believed Japan's attack on the United States was planned for months. But the Pearl Harbor Visitors Bureau says they decided to attack the naval base in Hawaii on December 7, 1941 because of the projected weather conditions. On this day, it was partly cloudy with good visibility. In the days following the surprise aerial attack, the U.S. Weather Bureau later renamed the National Weather Service and at all publications of weather and forecasting data west of the Cascade and Sierra Mountains along the West Coast. A week after the attack, the restrictions were applied across the nation. The goal was to keep weather data from becoming a tactical advantage to U.S. enemies. Information included long-range forecasts, wind directions, and cloud data. Only U.S. government agencies would be given a full weather report while the general public only received high temperatures and precipitation expected within 26 hours. The weather restrictions ended up lasting nearly two years before the government felt the data was no longer a threat to national security. News 19 meteorologist Aaron Walker, WLTX.